Hi, my name is Anna and I am a teaching artist with the New Victory Theater. I am a theater artist, but I also love music. I was born in Mexico and there is a very popular rhythm in Mexico that I like to dance a lot and it's called cumbia. So today I am going to teach you how to make two instruments inspired on instruments that are used to play cumbia. One of them is called a wiro, and the other ones are maracas or shakers. And you will be able to make these instruments uh, with objects that you will have at home. Since the wiro is the easiest, let's do the wiro first. Originally, a wiro is made by a pumpkin shell, um, very similar to a butternut squash pumpkin and they would cut some lines to make something that in Spanish is called ranuras. They would look something like this texture. You will need a clean can, you will need some tape of any kind that you want, and you will um, need some stickers to decorate your wiro. Another object that you can use to make a wiro is a plastic bottle that already has these little lines, this little texture. Now what you have to pay attention is that we want to cut small pieces of tape to cover this part of the can that can be sharp. So we don't want to hurt our hands when we do that. And we are going to put tape around the can, but we have to leave a space where we don't put any stickers because this empty space is where we are going to play our rhythm. Now that you have your widow ready with their stickers and the tape, I want you to go around your house and find different objects that you can use to play the widow. I am going to show you some objects that I found around my house that I can use to play my wiro. I found a fork, a brush, a pencil, a marker. And this broom is um, to clean small areas. Now, the way you want to play your wiro is you simply do strokes up and down and create different rhythms. So different objects would make also different sounds against the can. This is my favorite because it sounds similar to the wiro. This is the bass rhythm of a cumbia. We are going to do some shakers or maracas also used in Latin rhythms to play music. The first thing you need to do these shakers is a toilet paper roll. You need tape. I am using lentils, but you can use beans, rice, beets, or anything that you can put inside that makes a sound when it shakes. Um, you may need scissors and paper or stickers to decorate your shakers. The first thing you want to do is to take your paper roll and you are going to squeeze it a little bit on the edges. Now pay attention, you have to press with your finger down on one side and you are going to create this little flap and then you just press down on the other side and that way you are creating a pocket you may want to use some glue on this area. Now, what you want to do next is to put the lentils in and close the other side. As you see, some of my lentils are already falling out, 
because I didn't glue it yet. You can experiment before you close it with how many lentils or beans or rice you want to put inside because when you shake it, depending on how much material is inside, it can make different sounds. And you can try the same rhythm from cumbia that goes. If you want to use some paper to decorate your roll, you can wrap your paper on your roll before you do the folds on the edge. Now that you have rolled it around, you just push the edges in. And now you're ready to do your folds. After you put your beads inside, you can use tape or glue or hot glue with the help of an adult to make it stick. And that's it. We have created some shakers. And we have created a widow. What other instruments can you create with objects that you find around your house?